Once upon a time, there was an island. Some said it was in the South Pacific, but you wouldn't find it on any map. Many people have been drawn to the island throughout time, lost in their travels and lost in their lives. One such man shipwrecked and washed up on its shores. His name was Desmond. He was found by a man named Kelvin and taken to an underground shelter where Kelvin had been entering a code into a computer every 108 minutes for a very long time. What was all that about then? Just saving the world. He soon convinced Desmond to help him and together they saved the world with every push of the button for the next three years. It seemed they might be there forever, but there was one possible way out. Turn his key and this all goes away. Kelvin led Desmond to believe it was unsafe to go outside. Then one day Desmond risked exposure and discovered he'd been deceived. What are you doing my boat? So what do you think? Wanna come with me? Why did you lie to me? I lied to you because I needed a sucker to save the world after I left. You crazy old bitch. Get up. Oh my god. By the time Desmond returned, 108 minutes had passed without entering the code. Desmond was trapped and alone, or so he thought. But at the moment of his greatest despair, he was amazed to discover he was not alone on this island after all. So who is this man? He was one passenger on board Oceanic 815. It was a flight like any other, a plane full of strangers bound from Sydney to Los Angeles. Among them, the doctor who lost his father and lost his way. The girl next door turned fugitive. The con man out for revenge who killed the wrong man. The couple whose marriage was slipping. The soldier, the rock star, the lottery winner the single mother-to-be, and of course, the man whose faith was lost and whose body had failed him. These are just a few of the many who were brought together high over the ocean by something they could not understand at the time. Ladies and gentlemen, the company. something that caused their plane to split apart and fall from the sky. They could not imagine how they survived such a crash. Then again, they could never have imagined the power of this island and the tests it would provide. Two groups of passengers survived they would be separated for a time. And before they united, would experience the island in very different ways. Excuse me. Did you ever use a needle? I made the drapes in my apartment. I might throw up on you. You're doing fine. Forty-eight survivors from the fuselage were brought together by the crash. Hungry? Yeah. Thanks. They came from all walks of life. 다른 사람 신경 쓰지 말고 우리 같이 있어야 돼. I don't know your name. I'm Kate. Jack.
and they would all soon discover that this was not an ordinary island. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Terrific. A new day arrived. The survivors got acquainted. Hurley. Oh, just... Said. I didn't know how to do all that. I was a military communications officer. Who are you, Air Force? Army? The Republican Guard. Peanut butter? Just like you ordered. It's empty. No, no, it's not. It's full. Full to the brim. Oh, God. Makes you want a glass of milk. Extra smooth. It's the best bloody peanut butter I've ever tasted. <laughs> they were strangers thrown together, each with different priorities. What are you doing in here? What's in the bag? Booze, smokes, a couple Playboys. What's in yours? Medicine. Just about sums it up, don't it? You do this back home, too? Steal from the dead? You're just not looking at the big picture, Doc. You're still back to civilization. And where are you? I'm in the wild. So what is it about that guy, Jack? What is it about him makes you all weak in the loins? Try to be a pig or it just come naturally. Say he's a doctor, right? Yeah, the ladies dig the doctors. Hell, give me a couple of Band-Aids, bottle of peroxide, I could run this island too. You're actually comparing yourself to Jack. The difference between us ain't that big, sweetheart. Across the island, the 23 survivors from the tail section had a much different experience. You couldn't find any matches? I can ask around, but I couldn't find any. What are you, a Boy Scout? I'm of the Peace Corps. I'm Ana Lucia. Good one. And on their first night, something terrible happened. <laughs> A deadly confrontation. What happened? Who are these people? I don't know. But they're out here in the jungle with no shoes, nothing in their pockets, no labels on their clothes. These people were here before us. 